accepting advice. Department of Development Services Consumer Advisory Committee. This is the story of how Tommy used Think, Plan, Do to learn how to accept advice from a friend. Tommy began the Think, Plan, Do process by thinking about what he wanted to do and what advice would help him. I want to work with the elderly. So you want to work with the elderly. What do you like about working with the elderly? Yeah, they can to the cafeteria, give them coffee, talk to them, talk to the patients there. So help them get coffee, maybe take them the paper, the take their tray. So help them have a good life. Exactly. Tommy wanted to do volunteer work with the elderly in a nursing home or hospital. He wanted to help them by bringing coffee, walking with them, or giving them magazines to read. Tommy began thinking about who he could get advice from about the volunteer work he wanted to do. Here are the steps he took. Tommy thought about what it means to be a helper for the elderly. He needed a friend who could give him advice about reaching his goal. Tommy decided he wanted to talk to someone he trusted and liked. He thought about what questions to ask. He chose a life coach, Brian, who was helping him with other goals. Tommy created a plan to meet with Brian and get advice. First, he asked his support person to help him write down questions he wanted to ask Brian. These are the questions Tommy wanted to ask. Where can I volunteer? What do I need to bring with me to apply for a volunteer job? What do I need to wear? Tommy also wanted to show Brian he was prepared and ready to apply for a volunteer job. He gathered his materials, a copy of his volunteer goal, his list of questions, a pen, and a notebook to take notes. Tommy was prepared to apply for his volunteer work and ready to get advice. He realized he would need to listen carefully to Brian's advice. Tommy took action. Tommy met with Brian to get his advice and support. He shared his volunteer goal with him. Next, he asked his questions about how to get a volunteer job. Where can I volunteer? How about a hospital? Do you think they have volunteers at a hospital? Yes. I bet they do too. Brian suggested he try a hospital nearby where they use volunteers. They looked in the phone book and found a hospital. They called the hospital to find out what Tommy needed to do to apply. Tommy asked his support person to go with him to the hospital volunteer office to pick up an application. They filled out the application together and turned it in that day. Tommy was interviewed by the director of volunteer services. Tommy was accepted as a volunteer and will attend an orientation at the hospital. When he attends the orientation, he will have a support person who can help him read and understand the volunteer requirements. Tommy is proud of reaching his goal to do volunteer work with the elderly and using the advice from Brian. Think. Remember, think about what advice you want and who you can trust to ask. Plan. Create a plan to help you take the steps so you can have what you want. Do. Taking action is the way to get what you want and ask for help if you need it. Tips. Here are some tips to help you accept advice. Ask someone you like and trust. 
make sure your questions are clear. Listen carefully and think about the advice before taking action. Traps. Here are some traps to remember. Thinking you will not be a leader if you ask for advice. Thinking you can do everything on your own. Not following the advice given from someone you trust. Leadership through personal change, my life, my way. Thomas Michaels. Thomas lives in Southern California. He is active in his local CAC and uses the DVDs to teach others about leadership and personal change. Thank you for watching this program.